In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert SVGs inside your Power Apps. This is a very useful feature if you want to customize your app with unique icons, graphics or shapes. The process is very simple and I'm going to show a tool that makes it even simpler. We are going to add all of these components that we are, we are seeing in the screen right now. As we know, there are several websites where we can download or find SVGs. For example, here I have a couple of them opened. Here I have one that has some graphics. Again, I have a second one. I have one that has waves, SVG waves that are animated. And I have this one that has animated preloaders. We are going to insert one SVG from each website right now. Okay, we could just download the SVG and upload as an image, but that requires several steps. There is a better and quicker way to do that. That's just adapting the SVG code and putting in an image control. If we look at my app, we can see how that works. For example, here we have this SVG for these grapes. And we have the SVG code here, that's very big, but we don't need to worry about it because this is given by the website, for example. But as you can see, we, it's not just pasting the code inside the image control. So I inserted an image here, and then I put that code inside it. We have a string to prepend that code, and we have also to encode that using a function called encode URL. If you do that, it will always work, but you need to repeat this process every time. Here is where it comes, the tool that I'm going to show you and that will make it easier to insert the SVGs inside your app. So let's get started going to a blank screen and then we are going to get started inserting the SVGs. Back to the websites, let's say I want any of those, let me select, for example, the watermelon here. And I want to get the SVG code. Here I have this button that allows me to edit and I can copy the SVG. It will be already in my transfer area, so I can just do a Ctrl V and the code is in there. As I just said, if we go back to the app, insert an image and put the code inside it, it won't work because we need to do that adaptation. See, it's all wrong. But okay, let's go back. And now we have this tool called Power Apps Tools, where we have this tab called SVG to FX, where I can paste this SVG code and click on Convert. That will give me the SVG. It doesn't show very well here in the preview, but I can just click on Copy. And going back to my app, instead of having this text that I pasted, now I can paste what's in my transfer area, just doing a Ctrl V, and the image just renders correctly. So basically I just got the code, pasted in there, converted and pasted in here. There is a second button here that I can copy as YAML. This is in preview, in Power Apps, this way to copy controls. But if we click here, and we go back to the app, we don't even need to insert an image. We can just right click, paste and paste code. See, it's in preview, it's brand new, but once I paste, it will already insert the image for me. It just inserted an image with the SVG code inside it that's already correct. Very simple, right? Well, imagine that you cannot copy this SVG directly from the website. There is not the button to do that. So what you could do is to download the SVG vector. Once it's downloaded, you can open it with a text editor and copy the code from there. For example, here I have this notepad. I will open the file with the code here. I can then copy, go to the tool, paste here and convert. Then I can just copy the YAML again or copy, copy the code, right click, paste code, and then the SVG should appear in here. I don't know. Oh no, what happens? 
pay attention to copy just the part that has the SVG tags. So let me see, I'm just copying this. Let's convert in here, copy as YAML, and then let's see if now it will work. Paste, paste code. See, here we have the SVG that we got from the file. Okay, now let's see another example from other websites. This is a second website that has the same idea where I can find the image I want. For example, let's say I want this atom symbol. Here I have the button to copy the SVG again. I go to the website, clear this input, paste, convert, copy as YAML, go to the app, right click, paste code. There we have it. Okay, now let's see another example. That's the SVG wave. There is a website that generates SVG waves. I can configure the format of the wave, how many layers, how wave it is, and so on. They are animated, so I can click on the animate and they are animated. Then I can just click on SVG, copy the code, go to the app, convert here again. So I'm going to clear and convert. And then in this case, I don't think copying as YAML will work. Let's see. Yes, it gives an error. So what we are going to do is to insert an image with the image here. Then we go and copy using this first button. Just the copy and paste inside the image property. Okay, now we have the wave in the app and it's even working. So the animation is working. I will just resize and the image position, I will put fill. See, now it fills the space of the image and the waves is there animating my app. Last and not least, the last example is the animated SVG preloaders. Again, there is another website that gives that. I can select any of those. Let me get this infinite spinner. Then I will copy the SVG. Go to the tool, convert, copy as YAML, let's see if it will work, paste, paste code, and there it is, it's working. If you liked this explanation, leave a comment just for me to know that that was interesting and I can do more videos about this subject. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like to help the channel, those things that you already know. Okay, now I will leave you with a recommended video. See you in the next lesson.